I'm confused about why I'm here. I think I was a bad person in a past life. That's the, that's the family joke. I did have an issue with pain pills, but that was years ago. Just like my favorite quote, don't judge me by my past because I don't live there anymore. I've lost so many people, I need a pen and paper to write it down. All my friends are dead. Losing my daughter's father was really, really hard. I haven't had time to grieve because it's one person after another after another. Recently, my friend overdosed and ended up dying. He was sitting in my zebra print chair snoring, but then it, something just didn't sound right, so I called 911. They said that he was brain dead. He took some type of non-narcotic muscle relaxer. I know that he took one of those because he told me. Um, I lost my train of thought. Because my daughter was at the house during this incident, they took her from my custody. They drug tested me, claimed I tested positive for fentanyl. Because I live with my mom, I'm not allowed to reside with my daughter and my mom. So I have been living in my van. So here's my van. I usually try to sleep right here. If I wasn't on my pain medicine, I wouldn't be able to get out of bed in the morning. I take hydromorphone, which is Dilaudid, for pain for my fingers. This is gabapentin for depression, and it also can be used for my sciatica. This is my amoxicillin, because I just had my teeth pulled. This is Adderall, it is for my ADD. And then this is buprenorphine, which is also Subutex. If I don't have my Xanax, I'll have a seizure. So when I first get them, I break it in half and hide them somewhere. So if anything happens to the bottle, then I'll have those just in case. Okay. You say that they're putting you in a frame of who you used to be, not who you are. I've said, said that, yes. Yeah. I'm, ki I'm kind of confused, um, to be honest, about just everything that's going on. Or, okay. you know, like my sister told me that she wrote to you. I mean, I don't know what the premise of the show is. Um, you know, my sister obviously is concerned about what happened with my daughter. And that was, I don't know if that's been talked about. That was really... We have talked about the fact that you've lost custody of your daughter not once, not twice, but three times. That's very unusual. Why is that she, happening? I believe she was only taken twice, not three times. And the first time, um, her father was alive then. And um, I believe what happened, someone called maliciously. Um, they came out. Um, I tested negative for all drugs, and I guess, I believe Jonathan tested positive for something. Why, won't was, you, why can't you be with her now? Um, what they're saying is my friend, um, he came over, I've known him for 20 years, he drank chocolate milk, and the next thing you know, he's like snoring. He sounded funny, I screamed for my mom, she had just gotten home, um, and we called 911, he went to the hospital, and they said he had a heart attack and um, he was brain dead three days later. So that's what mm -hmm. they're, they're saying. It's an overdose, but um, I never knew him to do that kind of thing um, at all. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's really hard to talk about that day. The bottom line is I love my daughter very much. I've dealt with losing one person after another, after another that I really love. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing everything, like a lot of people that, you know, like the case, my case manager, for example, she's never seen anybody be so proactive in getting their child back. I called and called and called every single day to try to figure out what to do. Mm -hmm. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.